Hey, how's it going everyone? Lane Pavoga here from the Game Station. It's Thursday, May 19th. Now for your gaming news. The Xbox 360 update that may make your 360 unable to ring game discs happens today. What the update actually does is allows your Xbox 360 to read the new disc format, the XGD3, that adds up to one gigabyte of extra storage and some cool anti-piracy features. It also is allowing you to pay for your Microsoft points and other stuff through PayPal. The reviews for Witcher 2 are coming out and PC Gamer gave it an 89% calling it one of the most impressive RPGs you'll ever play. That makes me truly excited. I cannot wait. The word is out that LA Noir is overheating old PlayStation 3 consoles, but they're not alone in that the Xbox forums have also been blowing up that their 360s have also been overheating, some say even starting at the first level. Consoles just can't win these days. iOS gaming is big. How big? Well, 63 million people are now gaming on the iOS format across the US and Europe. Downloading up to 5 million games a day, it's getting pretty huge. This leads me to my question of the day. Do you think people that solely play video games in the iOS format, like people that play Angry Birds, Doodle Jump, and have never touched a real console or a PC in their life, can be considered gamers? I mean, personally, I don't think so. Like, my dad, he's really good at Snake, but I wouldn't consider him a gamer. All right, guys, I'm all wrapped for the day. No answer to the Thursday today, and I will be announcing the winners of the Han giveaway next week on Monday. I've just, frankly, been running around. It is very, very early in the morning once again, and I gotta get out of here. All right, have fun, have a good weekend. As for me, that's it, that's all. Whoop.